Hey guys, my name's Brad. Grab your Bibles. Let's go through the Word. Well, we begin uh, uh, our time uh, in the book of Colossians. And if you've been with us through the Word, we've looked at Ephesians. Uh, and we looked at Philippians, and we've been looking at the prison epistles uh, that were written by Paul, Paul writing these books while in uh, a Rome uh, prison. And so we're starting in Colossians, and I'm just giving you an introduction to this beautiful book that focuses on Christ. But let's look at the first two verses, chapter one. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to God's holy people in Colossae, the faithful brothers and sisters in Christ, Grace and peace to you from God, our Father. Well, if you notice, this is um, a, a pretty um, normal intro to Pauline epistles. Paul begins often the same, very same way, right out of the gate, who he is, who he's writing to, and then grace and peace seems to be a common greeting uh, to these believers, and uh, you can't go wrong when you greet someone with grace and, and peace from God. But we notice out of the gate, I don't want you to miss this, it says, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God. At the very beginning of this letter, Paul is declaring his allegiance to Jesus Christ. And this is important. Unlike some of the other letters that Paul has written, it is highly likely that Paul never visited Colossians. We, we, that he never visited these believers, uh, 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 not, not to our knowledge anyway. And so these are brothers and sisters of the faith, and they are living in Rome. Rome at the time is ruled by Caesar, and it is Caesar who believes that he is the arbiter of peace, uh, that, that, that all uh, uh, is held together by him. But Paul says, my allegiance is not to a Roman Caesar, it is to Christ who is my Lord. By the will of God, here he is proclaiming this truth. And so he is writing to these believers in Colossae. Uh, notice they're faithful brothers and sisters. And it says something, he is writing to individuals that he's never met. But does that not speak about the bond that we all have in Christ, whether we are centrally located together or spread out abroad? We are all one, the universal church, in Christ. And so he says, grace and peace to you from God our Father. You are going to be uh, looking at this letter that highlights the supremacy of Jesus Christ, that he is above all. He holds all things together, and it is Christ who we proclaim. And so Paul is declaring his allegiance, and it's a good reminder for us to, to know that as we live life here in this world, uh, our allegiance is solely to Jesus Christ. So I pray that you will be blessed uh, in, in this time through the Word, and I hope that you will continue to join us, uh, especially as we just see how awesome our Lord Jesus Christ is. So I'm going to have a word of prayer as we close things out. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your holy word, living and active, inspired by you. And we thank you for how you used Paul uh, and, and his life's work as an evangelist and these churches that were established and these believers who he made contact with. And Lord, through your Holy Spirit, he was called to proclaim your truth and and to proclaim your son, Jesus. And it's a call that we have. That call has not changed. And Lord, as we do so, it is so good to know that as we live in this world, where many have their allegiance with many different things, as believers our allegiance is to you, and it is so good to know that your grace and peace is with us as we live out our faith day after day. So to you be the glory, and may we proclaim you uh, by the very way we live our life, um, but especially with our words. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless, guys. We'll see you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell.